I'm Jeff Stewart, licensed marriage and family therapist and the host of this podcast, From Crisis to Connection. I've been through most of my life and I'm just starting to understand that my thoughts are not me, mm. that my brain is not me and, and separating them and maybe even standing and aside and watching your thoughts, choosing the ones you want to hold on to, but then letting a lot of them go. Um, I think it's a fairly new concept for me. And, and I'd say the general public, I'm sure that a lot of people have known about this for a while, but I think teaching our kids that, that you are not your thoughts. And when you're having anxious thoughts, um, upsetting thoughts, you know, downward spiral, any of these types of thoughts that you can separate yourself from that and say, that is not me. I'm going to look at it from afar. I'm going to choose not to let that become a part of me. And I'm going to, I'm going to let that pass. And there's so many different ways um, in therapy, I'm sure that can help people go through this, but just, I, I, and I'd suggest if, if this is something you want to look into it, reading a book or listening to a podcast that really dives a little bit deeper because I'll barely skim the surface. And I think it's one of the most important things that can change your life. I truly, truly do. I, I even see Jeremy, like we joke because he'll sometimes get mad at customer service and he's like, untethered soul. I'm just going <laughs> to like, let this go. I'm not going to get my energy and get all, you know, get my brain. Rah, 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 rah. Cause that is, it's like, we have this brain that's constantly annoying and talking to us and not letting us just relax. And so I think that's, what's great about meditation, you know, maybe yoga, things like that. But that concept, uh, especially if you can learn that early in life, I think can really change, um, change your thoughts, not even change your thoughts, but let you let a lot of these thoughts go. Yeah. I love that. I love the whole concept. It's, it, it is a lot like, you know, in Buddhism, they talk about, you know, observing the self and just kind of watching yourself have this experience versus I am my experience. We're going through yeah. something and my goodness, if, if, uh, if my thoughts were me, then I would be a different person every 30 minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> what a roller coaster, right? And so I, I do, I, I really appreciate that. And I think it does give us a chance to, you know, relate to our thoughts, relate to our emotions and be more intentional as we're talking about. Um, and so I, I get that it's a deeper dive than we, we have time for here today, but I wanted to introduce the, the concept and give you a second to talk about it because I know that like you said, it's had a huge impact on your life. And, and uh, I've experienced that as well in my own life. Um, I, I've shared with my listeners that my wife um, did a seven day <clears throat> silent meditation retreat with the Lower Light School of Wisdom with Thomas McConkie and his group back uh, a year and a half ago. And it changed our family completely in terms of slowing everything way down. She came home so different. And and it was a lot of this kind of a thing of like, wow, the experience I'm having, I can observe, I can slow down, I can relate to it differently. I don't have to just be in it all the time. Powerful right. stuff. And that your thoughts are what creates your frustration, your impatience. Like the circumstance is neutral. The kid not getting ready in the morning is actually just a neutral circumstance. You losing your job, your you know, husband or wife leaving, um, all of these things are neutral. It's your thoughts that will either lead you to the right next thing or not. They can either, you can either try to, you know, positively view that, you know, I think about with my kids all the time. It's like, I always say this circumstance is neutral. Like what my, this raging tantrum is neutral. My thoughts will dictate my life, will dictate my actions, We'll dictate everything. It's not the tantrum that's doing it to me. It's my thoughts about the tantrum, about what's happening. Um, that to me, is, it's so freeing, right? It's like, it gives you that power back. I now have the choice to decide what I do. I find the older I get as, as a mom and I'm still new in it, you know, um, the quieter I am. It's kind of like what you just said about your wife. Yeah. I, I sat there the other day and I had someone playing the violin. The boys were doing something and someone was screaming, someone was singing. And I just sat there and I thought normally I'd, ah, you know, start freaking out. And I just sat there quietly. I'm like, I'm going to let this pass. You know, like this could drive me to the insane asylum. <laughs> but I'm just like, I just find that I'm quiet. If things are going wrong or chaotic, I tend to quiet now because me talking and letting my thoughts spin me out of control. It's not going to do anyone any good. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and the thing is, is that we're having, 
you know, we're having experiences that we might react strongly to, but somebody else could have the exact same experience and not respond the same way we are. So what's the difference? Is the experience by itself always going to produce the same reaction? No. And so, you know, and, and obviously, like you said, I, I, there's absolutely room for us to have an authentic response and then choose later. Like, I think I want to respond from now on this way. There has to be room for us to be human in this and to take feedback and figure it out. But I love the idea that we can steer that, that we're not just passively in the, in the passenger seat of, of our thoughts in our life and it just takes us where it's going to take, take us. Thanks for stopping by and watching this little clip of my podcast interview. If you want to catch the full episode with this guest, you can click on the link below. It'll take you to my podcast and you can listen to the whole thing. Once again, I appreciate your support. I've got lots of other episodes you can check out as well. And I'd love to hear what you think about it.